Thank you. Hey guys, it's Bryce. We're here at Coda talking about uh, the first timers open coming up this weekend. And this is the West Room workout. We're really excited uh, to host this here. And I really appreciate you guys helping us out with all the judging and volunteering and stuff that it takes to make this run smooth. So um, this workout starts at 1220. We'd love to have you guys here about 1145. That would help us out. If you want to get earlier to watch, you're obviously uh, welcome to do that. But 1145 at the latest so we can make sure we have everything order, in order for this to go off. All right, so the workout. Now notice here, this is the score sheet, what it's gonna look like when you get it. So the heat and the division and the athlete name will all be filled in already. What we need you to put down is ni nicely print your name. At the end of the workout, we'll get an athlete signature and there'll be time or reps that you're gonna write in here depending on how well they do in this. So notice as they go through this, you can really just like mark off you know this stuff here now assuming they get pretty far and finish and that's fine you'll have it all marked off you can write their time down if for some reason you know they don't finish and they only get let's say here to five of the six i would have all this stuff marked off right and then i would just have five written in here and i would know that they got 155 reps so that would write it down and don't worry if you're unsure about that we're going to have our score keepers uh checking on that as long as our Riding is nice and legible in those positions. Okay, awesome. So for the girls, it's only going to be a seven calorie ski. Seven for the guys, it'll be ten. So um, Tiffany will be will be standing on there. She won't have touched the handles yet because we didn't say go. That's all right. And we're going in three, two, one. She'll grab the handles. She's going to start rowing. Skiing. Don't row here. All right. She can't get off the skier until it shows seven calories. So if she, if she thought she was going to ride it out, she could put the handles up, but she's got to stay on the platform until it actually shows seven. Now, when the shoes show seven, she comes off, she's going into her burpee box overs. The advanced division, we're jumping onto the box and stepping or jumping off to the other side. The scale division, we can step on the box. Now, an important factor is that we need both feet to touch the top of the box. Show them on the other side of that foot going around if you could. So if they did the step and their foot went around this way, that wouldn't count. We need both feet to touch on the box. They don't have to stand up at all. There doesn't have to be full extension or anything, but they have to get both feet on top of the box and only their foot. So if they use their hands to get over, right, that wouldn't count either, right? So we only our feet are on the box, okay? For the bur burpee portion, you're gonna have a tape line that runs right through the middle. We need one foot on each side of the tape line. So that shows us they're facing the box. Go ahead and go down in one tip. So this is good. She's got her feet on each side of the box line. She jumps over. Yeah. Nice. Now over here, let's watch her kind of do an angled one. Angled. That was good. She, she can't even do one wrong. Guys. No, do an angle. No, that's fine. I'm talking about oh. at, the at the bottom. Yeah, so now go. her feet are on each side of the line. So that would not be a bar, uh, you know, facing the box. So get back down, down there. Bad. Get back down there. Bad. You can say get straightened up. Get straightened up. If they straighten up, and then before they go, then that, then that counts. That's good. That's good. That'll awesome. be a good judge. So again, we need both feet on the box. So jumping all the way over will not count as a rep. We need them to. We need them to get both feet on the box. Um, we don't really aren't going to make a big deal about them pitter pattering with the landing on top of the box, but both feet need to jump at the same time. So if you see a, a pitter patter in the jump. That was good. That Let's was a good do a jump. battle where you like jump one foot at a time. Yeah, there that would not count as a box jump for the advanced division. Scale would be fine. I mean, beginner would be fine. Okay, awesome, awesome. So she does her two box overs. She goes back to the skier. Now, we're gonna have some people helping out here with these, but if you feel comfortable as a judge, I would like love to have you do the menu back just ski. Really because you're kind of sitting right here anyway, yelling at them. So it's easy to just menu back, just ski as you're watching them do their burpee box over. So now she goes to seven again. She then comes back out. Now we're doing four burpee box overs, but she's got to move her box. Hold on. She can't do it there yeah, at that, that didn't station. Count. She's got to roll the box forward. You're going to notice that there's these little lines. They're going to be perfectly partitioned to be right in the middle of the box. So you won't see them while they're going, but it'll be right yeah, yeah, just like that. Okay, and then so she'll do four here. One, two, three, four. Let's say this is three. Ooh, yeah. Four, four, that's a yeah, she scale. scale. Now she's she going back to the skier. 
So you always move the box after the ski. So right before you go on your burpee box over. Okay. It'll go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then I'll lay back. Ten, eight, six, four, two. All, once they're done with their second box over, bam, you hit time and they're done. That's it, guys. Questions on any of this stuff, Jared? Got a question. Okay, Feeling good? Sounds good. All right, guys. Hey, we really appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing you guys on Saturday.